In abstract algebra and analysis, the Archimedean property, named after the ancient Greek mathematician Archimedes of Syracuse, is a property held by some algebraic structures, such as ordered or normed groups, and fields. Roughly speaking, it is the property of having no infinitely large or infinitely small elements. It was Otto Stoltz who gave the axiom of Archimedes its name because it appears as axiom via Archimedes on the sphere and cylinder. The notion arose from the theory of magnitudes of ancient Greece. It still plays an important role in modern mathematics such as David Hilbert's axioms for geometry and the theories of ordered groups, ordered fields, and local fields. An algebraic structure in which any two non-zero elements are comparable, in the sense that neither of them is infinitesimal with respect to the other, is said to be Archimedean. A structure which has a pair of non-zero elements, one of which is infinitesimal with respect to the other, is said to be non-Archimedean. For example, a linearly ordered group that is Archimedean is an Archimedean group. This can be made precise in various contexts with slightly different ways of formulation. For example, in the context of ordered fields, one has the axiom of Archimedes which formulates this property, where the field of real numbers is Archimedean, but that of rational functions in real coefficients is not. History and origin of the name of the Archimedean property the concept was named by Otto Stoltz after the ancient Greek geometer and physicist Archimedes of Syracuse. The Archimedean property appears in Book V of Euclid's Elements as definition for magnitudes are said to have a ratio to one another which can, when multiplied, exceed one another. Because Archimedes credited it to Eudoxus of Cnidus, it is also known as the Theorem of Eudoxus, or the Eudoxus Axiom. Archimedes used infinitesimals in heuristic arguments, although he denied that those were finished mathematical proofs. Definition for linearly ordered groups Let x and y be positive elements of a linearly ordered group G. Then x is infinitesimal with respect to y if, for every natural number n, the multiple nx is less than y, that is, the following inequality holds. The group G is Archimedean if there is no pair x, y such that x is infinitesimal with respect to y. Additionally, if k is an algebraic structure with a unit, for example, a ring, a similar definition applies to k. If x is infinitesimal with respect to 1, then x is an infinitesimal element. Likewise, if y is infinite with respect to 1, then y is an infinite element. The algebraic structure K is Archimedean if it has no infinite elements and no infinitesimal elements. Ordered fields An ordered field has some additional properties. One may assume that the rational numbers are contained in the field. If x is infinitesimal, then 1, x is infinite, and vice versa. Therefore to verify that a field is Archimedean it is enough to check only that there are no infinitesimal elements or to check that there are no infinite elements. If x is infinitesimal and r is a rational number, then rx is also infinitesimal. As a result, given a general element c, the three numbers c, 2, c, and 2c are either all infinitesimal or all non-infinitesimal. In this setting, an ordered field k is Archimedean precisely when the following statement, called the axiom of Archimedes, holds. Let x be any element of k, then there exists a natural number n such that n greater than x. Alternatively one can use the following characterization. For any positive epsilon in k, there exists a natural number n, such that 1, n less than epsilon. Definition for normed fields. The qualifier, Archimedean, is also formulated in the theory of rank 1 valued fields and normed spaces over rank 1 valued fields as follows. Let f be a field endowed with an absolute value function, i.e., a function which associates the real number 0 with the field element 0 and associates a positive real number with each non-zero and satisfies an then, f is said to be Archimedean if for any non-zero there exists a natural number n such that similarly, 
A norm space is Archimedean if a sum of terms, each equal to a non-zero vector, has norm greater than 1 for sufficiently large. A field with an absolute value or a normed space is either Archimedean or satisfies the stronger condition, referred to as the ultrametric triangle inequality, respectively. A field or normed space satisfying the ultrametric triangle inequality is called non-Archimedean. The concept of a non-Archimedean normed linear space was introduced by A. F. Mona. Examples and non-examples. Archimedean property of the real numbers The field of the rational numbers can be assigned one of a number of absolute value functions, including the trivial function when, the more usual, and the p-adic absolute value functions. By Ostrovsky's theorem, every non-trivial absolute value on the rational numbers is equivalent to either the usual absolute value or some p-adic absolute value. The rational field is not complete with respect to non-trivial absolute values with respect to the trivial absolute value. The rational field is a discrete topological space, so complete. The completion with respect to the usual absolute value is the field of real numbers. By this construction the field of real numbers is Archimedean both as an ordered field and as a normed field. On the other hand, the completions with respect to the other non-trivial absolute values give the fields of p-adic numbers where p is a prime integer number, since the p-adic absolute values satisfy the ultrametric property. Then the p-adic number fields are non-Archimedean as normed fields. In the axiomatic theory of real numbers, the non-existence of non-zero infinitesimal real numbers is implied by the least upper bound property as follows. Denote by z the set consisting of all positive infinitesimals. This set is bounded above by 1. Now assume for a contradiction that Z is non-empty. Then it has a least upper bound C, which is also positive, so C, 2 less than C less than 2C. Since C is an upper bound of Z and 2C is strictly larger than C, 2C is not a positive infinitesimal. That is, there is some natural number n for which 1, n less than 2C. On the other hand, C, 2 is a positive infinitesimal, since by the definition of least upper bound there must be an infinitesimal x between C, 2 and C. And if 1, k less than c, 2 less than equals x then x is not infinitesimal. But 1, less than c, 2, so c, 2 is not infinitesimal, and this is a contradiction. This means that z is empty after all. There are no positive, infinitesimal real numbers. One should note that the Archimedean property of real numbers holds also in constructive analysis even though the least upper bound property may fail in that context. Non-Archimedean ordered field for an example of an ordered field that is not Archimedean. Take the field of rational functions with real coefficients. To make this an ordered field, one must assign an ordering compatible with the addition and multiplication operations. Now f greater than g if and only if f minus g greater than zero, so we only have to say which rational functions are considered positive. Call the function positive if the leading coefficient of the numerator is positive. By this definition, the rational function 1, x is positive but less than the rational function 1. In fact, if n is any natural number, then n equals n, x is positive but still less than 1, no matter how big n is. Therefore, 1, x is an infinitesimal in this field. This example generalizes to other coefficients. Taking rational functions with rational instead of real coefficients produces a countable non-Archimedean ordered field. Taking the coefficients to be the rational functions in a different variable, say y produces an example with a different order type. Non-Archimedean valued fields The field of the rational numbers endowed with the p-adic metric and the p-adic number fields which are the completions do not have the Archimedean property as fields with absolute values. All Archimedean-valued fields are isometrically isomorphic to a subfield of the complex numbers with a power of the usual absolute value. There is a non-trivial non-Archimedean valuation on every infinite field. 
Equivalent definitions of Archimedean ordered field Every linearly ordered field K contains the rationals as an ordered subfield, namely the subfield generated by the multiplicative unit 1 of K, which in turn contains the integers as an ordered subgroup, which contains the natural numbers as an ordered monoid. The embedding of the rationals then gives a way of speaking about the rationals, integers, and natural numbers in K. The following are equivalent characterizations of Archimedean fields in terms of these substructures. 1. The natural numbers are cofinal in K. That is, every element of K is less than some natural number. Thus an Archimedean field is one whose natural numbers grow without bound. 2. 0 is the infimum in K of the set 1 half, 1 third, 1 quarter. 3. The set of elements of K between the positive and negative rationals is closed. This is because the set consists of all the infinitesimals, which is just the closed set 0 when there are no non-zero infinitesimals and otherwise is open, there being neither a least nor greatest non-zero infinitesimal. In the latter case, every infinitesimal is less than every positive rational. There is neither a greatest infinitesimal nor a least positive rational, and there is nothing else in between. A situation that points at both the incompleteness and disconnectedness of any non-Archimedean field. 4. For any x in k the set of integers greater than x has a least element. 5. Every non-empty open interval of k contains a rational, contains infinitely many infinitesimals but not a single rational. 6. The rationals are dense in k with respect to both SUP and INF. Thus an Archimedean field is any dense ordered extension of the rationals, in the sense of any ordered field that densely embeds its rational elements.